How many people have had to evacuate off the boat? Um, it has destroyed over, uh, I think two days ago, they reported that it destroyed over 150 homes. 150 homes so far? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty scary. Perfect home so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hear your feed. Yep. I'll get it taken care of. Thank you. Hey, Anki. Wow. Toodles. Hello. Exploring Ginger. Hello. Jenny. Hello. 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 Um. Glad everybody has come over to join us. And we're going to be talking about a lot of different things today. We have a new missing case. And uh, right now, explain to everybody what you're doing. Hey, pizza lover. Well, I was just uh, checking in on that volcano. And it's, it's like some of that lava is about to engulf that house. I was like, wow, look at this. Hey, Jen Bird. There you go. Like, there's a house on the hillside right here. Look at that. Look at that fuel tank out there. You see that? Yeah. Oh, God, that propane tank. Yep. Yeah, it's either a propane tank or some kind of water tank. But if that's propane, oh, man. Uh, explain where the, uh, Toodles, hang on just a minute. He'll explain where, where this is. Uh, this is in the Canary Islands. Look at that lava just, you see that lava just shift and pick up the pace? This is all live feed, and you can go to AFAR TV on YouTube and watch it. Um, Stitch has been Stitching Girls been keeping me up breasted on abreasted on this, and um, you know, Ghost. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sad. It is pretty scary, guys. Yep, yeah. and. Um, and the thing about the about the volcanoes, you know, it can go dormant at any time, or it can continue to erupt for the next twenty years. You never know what's going to happen. Never know. Yeah, I know, right? It, it's so beautiful, but yet it's so ugly. Deadly. I don't know how else to explain it. Isn't this something? That looks very angry, right? Yep. I'm, I'm telling you all, but welcome everybody um, to the show today. We've got another missing case. Um, we are going to be talking about a young man by the name of Jacob McCarthy. Let me make sure I can get to where I need to go and we will show a picture of him. Uh, he is a 14 year old. I know, God bless the people and the animals. I know the crazy animals. Oh, by the way, let me, I'm sure y'all have heard about old Jamie Kimbrough, right? Mm -hmm. Hi, hippie soul. Jamie Kimbrough, she is a YouTuber that was in the DC and she's been some kind of a problem for quite a while, but she got arrested. Her and her partner got arrested for and we're going to play a little bit of the clip but right now let's focus on on uh uh jacob mccarthy um jacob mccarthy is a 14 year old young man and wh what we're going to do is we're going to play this video uh i got a hold of chasing truth she gave me permission to play this video we will play it a couple times throughout the stream it is just now uh, noon or three o'clock in the east coast please everybody please share this out this young man is 14 years old he is a gamer he took his german shepherd isabel for a walk and they think he went up towards hello cute kitty i'm doing good babe how are you you're a sweetheart tony hello Hello, everybody, hippie. Hello, everybody over there on YouTube. -y. 
Thank you very much, cute kitty. He took his dog for a walk and possibly up behind. Um, uh, let me pull up the. Uh, alarm, yeah, let me pull up the um, the map. All right, here we are. So, the last his dad knows of, um, hey Sharon, the last his dad knows that he took his uh, son, or that the boy took his dog, Isabel, for a walk and possibly behind Walmart. Here is Walmart, right here. Right here is Walmart. And he said it was in the woods behind the store. Now, I'm not sure if he is saying about these or of these. This is a pretty dense area of woods, in my opinion. Um, if that's where he took his dog. It looks like there might be a lot of trails in there, though, too. If you zoom in, you can kind of make out the trails. In the woods? Oh, yeah, yeah. down here. Yeah, there's, it looks like there's a lot of trails through it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Which would be a good place to walk a dog, you know. Right, right, if that's what he did. Yeah, if that's what he did. Now, this 14-year-old, this is a brand new case. Yes, he'll believe this is a brand new case. He had a German Shepherd. Uh, we're going to give this just until 5 after the hour, and then we will play the video. This young man is from Indiana. He is a gaming personality, so he likes to get on and play games. Now, what they're thinking is he met somebody off of the gaming... What, how do I say that, Ghost? Off the gaming platform? Yes, thank you, thank you. They're not sure if that's what happened, but they are thinking that's what happened and he's just not been seen the dog has not been seen and so they're thinking that he met this person off of this gaming platform which is why it's so important folks to make sure you monitor who your children talk to even if they are teens they don't always know the best he had a german shepherd yes unfortunately the uh the authorities haven't released whether or not it's like the Xbox platform or the PlayStation platform or, you know, just online right. gaming in general from PC. Right. Yep. So, so um, information we don't know as of yet, because this case is still pretty new. This is a, a new case. He uh, went missing on the 21st, I believe it was. And um, just nothing. Walmart often have trails behind them in my area. They're made by people walking to the store by nearby apartments and homeless camps. There you go, Hillbilly. Absolutely. I want to thank everybody for coming in today. We're going to be talking about a little bit of everything on here today. Uh, mainly Jacob McCarth uh, McCarty. I've got to make sure I got that name right. I'm pretty sure I did. Um... Yes, McCarty. McCarty, okay. So this is the young teen right here, and this is his dog. That's him. Um, he's been missing. He left home, his home in Corden, on Tuesday to meet up with someone he met online. Hey, Kyle. Hello, honey. With someone he met online. He's um let me see so six Before days he, ago yep six days ago it um he'd been missing since 4 7 p.m on september 21st when his father says he took his dog on a walk into the woods in cordon near pacer court which is near federal drive northwest in a video posted on facebook harrison county sheriff nick smith makes a plea for businesses or homes with cameras within 100 miles of the cordon to check their camera footage. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to play this video that um, 
that uh, they put out on Facebook. This is Jacob McCarty. Okay. So here we go. Well, I thought I could. Okay, here we go. And thank you, uh, Chasing Truth. My name is Nick Smith, and I'm sure Harrison County, Indiana. I'm here with the following. His name is Jeremiah McCarthy. He's the father of a 14 year old boy named Jacob McCarthy. I'm a father as well, and I'm sure many of you are mothers and fathers yourself. A tragedy occurred on September 21st at 4.07 p.m. His son took his dog for a walk into the woods between Bay and Joe Rhodes Pool, known as the Cordon Pool, and Pacer Court in Cordon, Indiana. It's a wooded section of ground in between two main roadways. We have searched that area by ground and by air numerous times, and we've utilized canine teams. We have been unable to find his son. His son has an online gaming presence, like many of our children. We believe, with the information we've collected in this investigation, that his son had met someone online and had plans to meet them. At this time, we've reviewed hundreds of hours of camera footage for every business and every residence that surrounds the area. We have not been able to find him or who he went with. We believe that at this point, Jacob can't return and we need your help. Okay, did you hear that? Help us. They believe at this time he can't be returned. Eluding, I would imagine, Ghost, that he has been taken against his will. Right. Okay. Share this with everyone that you know. Cordon, Indiana is located about 20 miles away from Louisville, Kentucky. Look it up on that. If you have a camera on your house, if you have a camera at your business, we're going to ask you for about three to four hours worth of time. Three to four hours to do something for this father. Look at your footage. We're going to provide a picture of the son and his son's German Shepherd. We want you to look on that footage and see if you see this boy, his dog, or a vehicle that they're in. It might be a gas station. It might be a McDonald's drive through It might be anywhere. We do not have the manpower to check every camera in a 200 mile radius, but you do. This is the day that you can help him, another father. We're asking for your help. Jeremiah, is there anything you had? I would just ask that if any time that anyone can spend looking at, at, at any cameras that they may have, God bless him. Help me bring him home. Help me bring him home. Oh, I just can't boy. imagine. He's such a good kid. Please, Ladies and gentlemen, please. If, you look, if you look through your cameras and you find something, don't make the mistake of being a keyboard cowboy. Don't go on Facebook and put all the details of what you see. You need to call us. Call Thank us you, Texas. Or your local jurisdiction. If you have evidence, if you have a vehicle description, a clothing description of a suspect, and you put it on Facebook or social media, there's a good chance that person could see it too. And if this is what we think it could be, we don't want that going away. We want to bring a son home. Call us at 812-738-3911 or your local jurisdiction. 911 is just fine as well. But don't put the information out there. We want to help him. We don't want to help the person that may have his son hide him even more. All we're asking for is three to four hours. In a world where we're all disconnected and everybody's fighting, all day long. We're still moms. We're still dads. That's right. That's right. That's right. God Thank bless them. We appreciate it. You know, I have to say, that looks like a parent to me that legitimately does not know where his son is and is legitimately worried about him. Yeah. That's somebody that's lawyered up and not sharing any information with police. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he plays online games, may have been taken by someone he went to go meet. Five foot four, 200 pounds, shoulder length, black hair, brown eyes, 
red Nike sneakers. Where Jacob, walk, Jacob walked Isabella and his dogs into the woods between May and Joe Rhodes. Can you look that up on your map system? Mm. Uh, May and Joe Rhodes Memorial Pool is what it is. And Pacer Court in uh, Cordon, Indiana. I'll leave this up so you can look at it and get oh, the... Absolutely. About 20 miles away from Louisville, Kentucky. Now listen, folks. This I know y'all are out there. You know, if there's anything that you can do to help, if you know this young man through the gaming community, do not be posting it anywhere like the sheriff said. Get a hold of the sheriff's department, and we will post that number on here also. But let's get the word out about this young man. Take a screenshot of this and post it around and see if anybody has seen this young man. And remember the German Shepherd, Isabella. What's the name of the town again? Corden, C O Corydon, C O R Y D O N. Indiana. Corydon, Indiana. Walmart Supercenter. All right, here we go. Okay, so it's May and Joe Rhodes Memorial Pool. I want to tell you here. And Pacer Court. Okay, there's Pacer Court. Okay. You want me to share the map? Sure. Let me stop sharing. Okay. Yeah, this is Pacer Court that runs east -west. Okay. All right. And where's Walmart at, babe? Walmart. Oh, I see east. it. I see it. Okay. There's the Walmart. So here's that, right. here's that one part, and then here's that where, where the trails and stuff was. Okay, and then where is that? Oh, see, I see them. Okay, right here. Uh, May, okay, so see where the Holiday Inn Express is? Down below uh, in the red. Then right to your, okay, now to your left is that Mary Mary, uh, Mary and Joe Rhodes Memorial Road. Okay, Memorial Pool. Right, so that's a swimming pool. So in between that and here is where he's missing. Yeah. Yep. So this is all that wooded area right up yeah. where it looks empty. That's the wooded area if you want to use this. Yeah. Yep. Hey, Iron Woman. Hello, Chief. Hello. I do too. I do too, Texas. And, yep. yep. So it's in between there and there's all the, the, um, all the trails. The trails you were talking about. So in that area is where he went missing. I hate it when I write a comment that is too long and and it doesn't post. I know that happens to me too. So, uh, hillbilly. So, you know, so once again, this young man went missing after taking his dog for a walk to go meet somebody he was playing games with online. How scary is that, folks? How scary is that? This is why we, as parents, keep tabs of what our kids are doing. This young man is only 14 years old. So, there we are. and apparently they've done aerial. The police said that they've done aerial on this, that they have done uh, scanning on this, and they he's gone. He's gone. I was going to say, this isn't a very big area to get no. lost in, you know? Well, somebody I had mean, to have picked him up, and that's what they were alluding to. Um, it's very scary, yes. Very scary. 
I mean, it's what, maybe uh, a half mile wide by three quarters of a mile? Yeah, not very big. Thank you for looking that up. I appreciate that. No problem. Wow, that is so scary. You just never can tell. Remember, people. Hey, Joy Joy. Remember, people. These people that get on here on the Internet, unless you have seen them in person, well, not in person, but, you know, like Ghost and I see each other every day, you don't know who it is that you're talking to. And especially when it comes to these kids. I mean, you just can't. So, okay, so this is going to be, I'm going to post this here. I'm going to put it in the chat. If you have any clues, these are all anonymous tips. Please, 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 please. Um, now, unfortunately, we don't have many more details in this case than that what than what we've told you so far because it is so new. It's not a high profile case like Gabby's. Uh, it hasn't made national news or anything like that. And uh, this was brought to us by uh, a viewer. You said yes yesterday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just got it. So I have not been able to do uh, much uh, work on it. But um, there's not many videos on YouTube. Over there. In fact, there's only like four videos and it's all the same news feed. Right. On YouTube. But remember his name. Remember what he looks like. And he's got he's got a uh, hey, Sue, there you are, honey. Sue was the one that brought this to me. And I didn't get it till yesterday afternoon. So, um, and she's, you know, she gave me as much as I could. Um, and I talked to Chasing Truth, and Chasing Truth let me um, use her video. So, this kid supposedly is a super nice kid. <coughs> Remember, he's only five foot four, he weighs 200 pounds, he loves to play online gaming. This is his dog, Isabella, who's a lot bigger now. But he took his dog for a walk in the, in the park area in the woods behind Walmart. And he has not been seen. Fellow, fellow Indian family, Indiana family. Yes, Sue doesn't live too far from there. Sue, I'm sure you'll keep me posted on this, as, as we will, too. We will keep looking also. Um, but this kid, this just scares me, Ghost. How many of our children get on and play online gaming? Right. How many of them do not know the dangers or take it seriously of meeting people online? No, the dog has not been found either, Hillbilly. I'm not mistaken, his family is only 30 minutes away from Louisville, Kentucky. Thank you're in you. southern Indiana. Yeah, that's what they were saying. This is not very far at all from Louisville. Lady Phantom, hello. So, we will keep an eye on this. Guys, just remember, let's... let's you know, this is all the information we have at this time and point. This is a brand new case. It's six days old. I just got it brought to me. So, um, yeah, if we can get this out and share. If you guys just want to take a screenshot, a screenshot of this picture, this young man, man, and, and ask everybody if they've seen him and tell them where he, you know, he was last seen that he needs to be found. So is the uh, is the FBI involved yet? Just the sheriff. Uh, yes, ma'am. I've been searching social media, made a couple of calls to the sheriff's department for more information. I have a contact to the local newspaper that will call me if anything pops. Okay, Sue. Thank you. That I've got her on the ground. Then 
Sue, you're part of the, the goober nation here now. So has the FBI gotten involved in this case yet? or No, they have not. Okay, so that that's kind of unusual considering that it's a minor. No, it's not. No, it's not. Well, so let's let's do this. Let's Harrison County. Let's do this. Usually, the FBI is like right up on the child abductions. You know, they get involved with most of the the missing children uh, cases. I don't. Not right away. They don't. I don't believe. Um. They have to have a certain reason, I believe, to get involved. But, you know, um, then again, they've got to have, you know, a good reason to come and get involved. Well, I mean, they're um, involved in, like, the Summer Wells case and all the, the other ones that we've covered with minors, you know. Been a hundred, yeah, but, okay, let's just fix this real quick. Let's go ahead and Google it. I wish I had a police officer help me with this. How do you get the FBI involved in a case? Okay, contact so contact your local FBI. FBI office, Close International. Okay, we know that. Okay, how does FBI investigate missing persons? The missing and unidentified persons section in the California Department of Justice Assist law enforcement, crime, criminal justice agencies in locating missing persons. Okay, so what happens when a child is reported missing? Immediately report your child is missing to the local law enforcement agencies. Asking investigators to enter your child into the National Crime Center, okay, which is the NCIC, missing child person. Limit access to home until law enforcers arrive and have collected possible evidence. Um, I believe that they have to be called in through the agency and they have to have enough probable cause, you know. I agree, it is messed up. The FBI should be, you know, in there immediately. I agree with you, Iron Woman, but, um, uh, who is the longest missing person? What times of crimes? How do you know if the FBI, how does missing person cases, we just got into that. As a part of its investigative investigative publicity program, the FBI posts photographs and other information regarding fugitives, terrorists, kidnapped, missing persons, bank robbers, and others unwanted. So, you know what, to be honest with you, Ghost, um, here's, here's the thing. Yes, the FBI will initiate a kidnapping investigation involving a missing child. Here we go. Here's the FBI.gov. So let's let's check this out. Yes, the FBI will initiate a kidnapping investigation involving a missing child of tender years, even though there is no interstate aspect. Tender years is generally defined as a child 12 years or oh, younger. Younger, okay. Oh, that's why it's Summer Wells. Uh -huh. uh, the FBI will monitor other kidnapping situations when there is no evidence of interstate travel, and it offers assistance from various entities, including the FBI laboratory. There you go. There's your answer. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so, Twelve years. Twelve years and younger. Okay. There you go. Haven't y'all played the video from? Yes, we sure did. I played it. I sure did. So, and I'll play it again uh, before we get off of here. So, it says, this is the Facebook, in case you all want to, uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Here it is, right here. So, we will play it again. Okay. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, 
My name is Nick Smith, and I'm the sheriff of Harrison County, Indiana. I'm here with the father. His name is Jeremiah McCarty. He's the father of a 14-year-old boy named Jacob McCarty. I'm a father as well, and I'm sure many of you are mothers and fathers yourself. A tragedy occurred on September 21st at 4.07 p.m. His son took his dog for a walk into the woods between Bay and Joe Rhodes Pool, known as the Corden Pool, and Pacer Court in Corden, Indiana. It's a wooded section of ground in between two main roadways. We have searched that area by ground and by air numerous times, and we've utilized canine teams. We have been unable to find his son. His son has an online gaming presence, like many of our children. We believe, with the information we've collected in this investigation, that his son had met someone online and had plans to meet them. At this time, we've reviewed hundreds of hours of camera footage for every business and every residence that surrounds the area. We have not been able to find him or who he went with. We believe that at this point, Jacob can't return, and we need your help. We need your help to share this with everyone that you know. Corden, Indiana is located about 20 miles away from Louisville, Kentucky. Look it up on that. If you have a camera on your house, if you have a camera at your business, we're going to ask Hang you in there, three Iron to four Woman. hours worth of time. Three to four hours to do something for this father. Look at your footage. We're going to provide a picture of his son and his son's German Shepherd. We want you to look on that footage and see if you see this boy, his dog, or a vehicle that they're in. It might be a gas station. It might be a McDonald's drive-thru. It might be anywhere. We do not have the manpower to check every camera. God bless him. Radius, but you do. Look at him. Oh, just tears me up. This is the day that you can help him, another father. We're asking Hey, that. Zach. Jeremiah, is there anything you need? Much love to you too, baby. I just ask that if any time that anyone can spend looking at, at, at any cameras that they may have, please do it. Help me bring him home. Help me bring him home. He's such a good boy. He's such a good kid. Please, Ladies and gentlemen, if you, look, if you look through your cameras and you find something, don't make the mistake of being a keyboard cowboy. Don't go on Facebook and put all the details of what you see. You need to call us. Call us immediately or your local jurisdiction. If you have evidence, if you have a vehicle description, a clothing description of a suspect, and you put it on Facebook or social media, there's a good chance that person could see it too. And if this is what we think it could be, we don't want that going away. We want to bring the sun home. Call us at 812-738-3911 or your local jurisdiction. 911 is just fine as well. But don't put the information out there. We want to help him. We don't want to help the person that may have his son hide him even more. All we're asking for is three to four hours. In a world where we're all disconnected and everybody's fighting all day long, we're still moms. We're still dads. That's right. That's right. God bless him. We appreciate it. So there is, uh, there he is right there. You know, um, hey, fallen angel. And there's his dog, Isabella. Uh, let me see. Did uh, I found the sheriff's comments regarding gaming community interesting? Where where was that at? Uh, where was that at, babe? So I'm not seeing anything here. View more comments. Oh, let me look. Let me look. Um, can we get his gamer tags? The games he played. I'm telling you what, these people, they're on it. Oh, my God, this is terrible. Yep. I know, right, Toodles? It's, I mean, it, it breaks my heart. Did not see him praying. Okay, people are looking at their cameras. You know? Find the poor. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, man. Hey, Gil. Yes, exactly, Gil. This is heartbreaking. <laughs> this is heartbreaking to me. You know, this. you guys have got to be careful letting your kids, you know, mo please monitor, monitor your children. Um, you know, this is so sad. It's, it's just heartbreaking, heartbreaking to me. Um, so Sue said she found the, when the sheriff said that they believe that he can't return on his own, yeah, it broke my heart too. That We were just talking about that. That yeah. pretty much tells me that he has been taken. Um, so, um, you know. No, the police said they had searched that area and didn't find any sign of him in that area or the dog. Tony Vlogs Adventures. So his comment is, I wouldn't even tell, but he's in here trying to promote himself. We got a missing child, and you're in here wanting to promote yourself? Go get fucked. How about that happy horse shit? <laughs> Asshole. We're in here with, you, we've got a missing child, and you're wanting to promote yourself? Get the fuck out of here. Piece of shit. God, that pisses me off. Self-entitled bunch of pricks. How about that? Oh, I feel better about that one. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night, so, you know, this is... <laughs> Uber is hungry today. <laughs> you know... Shame on them for doing that. You know? Oh, my gosh. So, anyway. Um, any uh, any updates in the laundry case for today? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you got more? What did you say? Fallen? That was Tony and Ed's? Or Jen and Ed's son? Oh, I didn't see the chat. Was it? Yeah, Tony Vlogs Adventures. Oh, yes, that's Tony. I had no idea. Yep, that's Tony. I thought it was okay. Yeah, I couldn't see the chat. So, oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> well, no, I, you know, if I would have seen the chat, I would have been able to stop oh, you on that one. No, but no, 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 no. And you no, know, and I don't care. I, I mean, I am sorry for saying, putting it that way, but. Um, then again, it should, I, I mean, you just don't do that. So I apologize if I offended anybody. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that was Tony. Hell, I have no idea. I, I like I said, I couldn't see the oh, chat. And I have, uh, Fallen, I also have a, um, you can get a hold of me on Twitter. Oh, Lord. Miscommunication? No, not really. I mean, I don't know. Tony, Tony's a good kid. Tony's autistic. Oh, Tony so. is a good kid. Yeah, I had no idea kid. it was him. Did the yeah. sheriff just say not to put out on social media they don't want them to hide his son anymore and what they, and what they already have? I'm sorry I tried, tired, and I'm sick. I was up late. No, no, no. What they said was did the sheriff just say not to put out on social media? What the sheriff said was, if you have anything pertaining to the case, do not share it on social media in case the perpetrator is watching. That's what the sheriff said. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So... With that being said, let's go on to the hell is that? What? I don't know. I hear what sounds like a TV on or something. No, that's people out in my yard. Oh, suddenly somebody's singing. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, she's talking to the kids. 
Maybe use maybe that you want me to use. Twitter won't let me save a decent copy. Okay, so here's what we got going. So, um, okay. So, shall we talk about um, the laundry case? Yeah, I was just asking if there was any updates to that. Well, did you hear about the Twitter, the supposed Twitter? I, I heard that he supposedly had a secret Twitter, but they can't. Okay. They, they, they don't know if it's actually him or somebody pretending to be him. Okay, so let me go to my bookmarks. Let me do this here real quick. I I seen some of that and I don't know. To me that it seemed like somebody trolling. Somebody yeah, I mean okay. if it is somebody trolling, it's pretty fucking ignorant. You know what I mean? Now listen listen the yeah. So the um okay, so here it is. This account has been going on since two thousand. We're gonna share it. Um, is this the one? Yep. Now this is actually uh Brian Laundry's um uh name. His ID. So this account's been going on since February 2016. He's got almost a thousand followers. So this is what he's done. He has been antagonizing whoever has his account. If it's Brian, if it's some smart ass troll out there, they are antagonizing. Let me scroll way back and you'll see. So what he's doing is he's he's grabbing little news stories and news clips of Gabby on here and playing them. Whenever you think about it and think about it often, just breathe 10 deep, deep, slow breaths and then enjoy the silence. And he alludes to the fact that he's out there traveling by himself and doing shit by himself. Uh, the Appalachians, uh, he, he alludes to that. Let me see. Look at here. September 21st, a now a homicide. September 21st. And oh, all the missing. Murdered victims, justice for Gabby. And this is this is what's his name's uh name. Brian's name. So so sad. Um no federal statutes or regulations bar photography on federal property from publicity accessible locations. Taunting the press there. Someday on the road in the middle of nowhere, one can only hope and pray. Um, let me see. And here somewhere he's alluding to the Appalachians. Um... Oh, let me see. I can't remember where it's at now. Okay, right here. Um, Journey of a Thousand Miles begins as a single step five hours ago. And then he gets Route 66, Petrified Forest, he just eludes to a lot of shit. We can't negotiate with nature. So him and Chris McDonoghue. Oh, here's this one. When dog comes, when the dog knocks on your door, you should answer it. See, that doesn't sound like something he would say. You know what I mean? I don't know. Here is the Appalachian Mountains in North Carolina. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, that's the one he was alluding to. Supposedly, uh -huh. that's where he was. 
I don't think I'd want to be a bald man in the U.S., Canada, or Mexico right now. So, anyway, him and Chris McDonoghue get into it. Um, sorry, not BL. Hate to disappoint. Chris McDonoghue, Greg Cooper, and the interview room are whacked. YouTube, and then he gives the, the channel. Tune out those goofballs. I'm just a traveler and retired LEO with a daughter near Gabby Petito's age. Like many, this case has touched, my, touched me. Justice for Gabby. So he pins this, and in the thread, he says, doesn't look like Gabby. The image is a rendering from a shirt company selling Justice for Gabby shirts. Not my art, not my daughter, just another t-shirt producer trying to make money off of the tragedy. It says, what agency did you work for? You Now, this is Chris McDonoghue, who did a show last night. What? A sticky note? Yes, true. I do need that once in a while. Sticky notes are important. What agency did you work for? And he then he won't he won't reply to him. So this gal goes, now you're going to harass them. People have the right to be anonymous. You made the accusation, you prove it. And this is what uh, Chris McDonoghue said yesterday, what, what, Brian Laundry's secret Twitter account reveals an interview room? So I just don't, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's Brian posting those. And wh why is that? Why do you think? Well, go back to that, uh, that one you just showed where he said he's a father that has somebody that, that uh, has a daughter around the same, same age as Gabby. Okay, but then when he's asked about this, he won't give out any information. The LEO that he worked for? Because he's a troll. That exactly, yeah, I agree. I he's agree. a troll. It's a troll. It's not, Brian. It's, it's a troll. I agree. I agree. So, anyway... Trolls yeah. do that. They hide behind their microphones or their text or their Twitter accounts and run their mouths, but you'll never get them to come out in, in person. Why would middle. somebody do this? Why would somebody do this? <coughs> what is the what's in their head? Why do people get swatted on YouTube? Why, why, why do we have trolls that come into the chats? So it's, it's the same thing. You, I'm asking you a legit question. I, there's, there, there's no real answer for it. People do. There, there's good people and there's bad people. And there's people out there that just want to get a rise out of somebody or want to put themselves in the middle of something that's bigger than them. And it's whether it's negative publicity or positive publicity, publicity they don't care why would you pretend to be brian laundry knowing the intensity of this and there you go lady swan it's probably the same troll that swatted the parents house a few days ago there you oh, go shit, i didn't even think of that good there you good go eye, lady swan yep bye Yep, some troll called into the local police department down there and said there was shots fired at the laundry house, and they came and swatted them. They got there. No shots had been fired. Nothing was changed. There was still press outside. The press even said, no, there was no gunshots here. God almighty. I, I don't understand. Very well could be. Um, yep, they really do. Yep, it's okay. Anything else you want to talk about there today? Mm, well, we got, uh, I mean, let me check in on this uh, this hurricane situation here real quick. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Check the radar because uh, hey, I was watching it yesterday and it looks like it's, it's starting to take that left and it's going to stay off the coast, but that could change. So let me uh, let me just pull up the radar here real quick and see where it's. It was closing in on Bermuda. It was Category Four. Um, 
if things load up today. <laughs> yeah, I had the same problem this morning, too. I want to thank everybody for coming in. I really appreciate it. Well, it can skip Florida, Rebecca says, right? Talk about the latest drama scandal. No, I haven't talked about that. We talked about the volcano. We talked about Brian Laundry and Gabby, and we talked about um, our missing young man, Jacob McCarty. Yeah, here's here's Hurricane Sam right now, and uh, it looks to uh, start curving and going back out to sea, but it is moving at eight miles an hour. It's extremely slow moving. It was ten miles an hour the other day, wasn't it? Yeah, it's 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 extremely slow moving. And we're going to have to keep an eye on this over the course of the next three to four days to make sure it doesn't change direction and end up coming across Florida into the Gulf or smacking into the Carolinas or anything like right. that. Right now, they're saying it's going to go and stay out to sea, but that could change. We got to keep an eye on it. So, but for now, it's still out there, you know, heading heading into the Bermudas. Uh, category category four, high category four, actually. So. Hmm. Okay. It'd be interesting. Well, I got to go get some an affidavit notarized, so I'm on my way to go do that. And then, drama, Jenna, drama scandal is disgusting. She, well, let me play it. Let me play it. I think I still have it up. Let me play it. Let me see. So we have, um, uh, let me see, let me pull it up. Let me see if I've got it. So, um, okay, yes, I do. This is one of the DC's finest. This is the gal that walked around with a fishing hose up her nose and said she was on oxygen. Um, yeah. So what? this is the you know, this is the latest on a little gal by the name of oh Jimmy. Hide the house number. Well, how the hell am I going to do that right now? It's all on the news. Hang on. Now you tell me. Okay, so this will make you sick. This will absolutely make you sick. Here we go. Nebraska Humane Society Director of Field Operations tells me that tonight that there was extreme filth covering the entire inside of the house and says it's one of the worst things he's seen throughout all of his years on the job. A case that started as a tip to the Humane Society uncovered a horrific scene inside of an Omaha home. Inside, 38 dead rabbits, two dead parakeets, two dogs, eight live rabbits, and another five dead rabbits at another property, also connected to Jamie Kimbrough. When we first opened the door, it actually took all of our breath away and they burned our nostrils and our lungs. So it was extremely filthy. Um, the animals were running around, couldn't escape the waste. And I'm telling you, you this know, just this makes me so mad. As well. Field director Ronald Schlobs was one of the many people on scene on August 19th when they got a search. I'm sure the neighbors smelt the smell. He says in some places, the all the dead bodies, species, at least a foot deep. Okay, so all the dead, the uh, an animal that it smells terrible when it dies. I had a dead mouse once hid between the, the wall and the bookcase. I'm telling you what, it was a month. It smelled so bad. I'm sure the neighbors and all the feces and everything, I'm sure that they they probably turned around. Oh, where the animals were living. And these living conditions, quite frankly, couldn't have been much worse. 
So it was absolutely horrible to see. Court documents reveal that when officers entered the garage where they found the rabbits, they immediately noticed a height difference due to the garage floor being entirely covered in rabbit feces. According to court documents, they were able to find rabbit food bags filled with dead rabbits. Oh. That's when they found all 38. They found another six bags full of decaying rabbits, but there were too many to count. Oh my god. More unusual and a little more upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. Deceased animals right? are still kept on the property, not you know properly taken care of. Documents go on to say Kimbro denied anything was wrong and said she was set up and animals were placed in her home. Then said, "You believe that shit?" Said she was set up. Somebody put all that stuff in her home. What? Including all the dog shit? Come on. She chose to kill the rabbits she felt she couldn't take care of. This is not any way for any creature to have to live. Again, Kimbro is charged with two Oh, so this is how she got turned in. She held somebody's rabbit hostage and finally returned the rabbit that was so emaciated uh, it died a couple days later. The rabbit owner notified the authorities. There you go. That's what happened. This is Jamie Kimbro. We're talking about her, the perma victim. I know, right, Jenna? After felony animal neglect. I did reach out to her, but have not heard back. The Nebraska Humane Society wants to encourage people to report things like this if you suspect anything similar is going on. Reporting live in the newsroom, Abby Peterson, KTV News Watch 7. So that is the top news here in the D.C. community. The Maybe I'm just a big old hairy redneck, but when they're talking about rabbits like that, I'm thinking food. You know what I mean? Like, well, it'd be one, th yeah, but no, you not know, as, like, like I, I think the they wild, have them as cats, but out in the yeah, wild, yeah. you out in the wild, you you hunt them. These were pets. I mean, you can you can raise rabbits for food. You know, hey. <laughs> you hear that? What? Well, Lady Swan yells down the stairs. You think about food all the time anyway. <laughs> That's right. I'm just saying, you know, like, you know, you can raise rabbits. you can raise rabbits for food. Rabbits. But... They were show rabbits. Mm. Yep. She held the rabbits hostage to make a deal to get more rabbits. I, I had friends of mine that raised rabbits for snake food. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that. Mama, you got a few donos up above, just letting you know. Oh, shit. What, what am I missing? I am so sorry. My, this thing doesn't show, show it. I am so sorry. Happy soul. Thank you. I got my worst troll ever yesterday. Love you, Mom. Oh, thank you, guys. I'm so sorry. I don't see. Dr. Kitts, thank you so much. I appreciate, I really do, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much for hosting. I am so sorry, I'm the worst because I don't see the, the D-Live side. I only see the um, the Restream bot and it doesn't show the donos. So thank you so, so much. I need to check them. Thank you, Joy. Yeah, breeder rabbits don't taste any different than wild rabbits. But it's not too much of a gamey Stop, taste in, it's in rabbit. It's not anything to make fun of. No, I'm not. I was answering a question. Before you and I end up getting... I was answering a question in your chat. I'm going to end up whooping your ass. It says, show rabbits probably taste the same as wild. And yeah, they pretty much do. God, who said that? Lady Swan. <laughs> Lady Swan, I'm going to kick your ass next, girl. Actually, rabbit, rabbit isn't isn't rabbit. bad. Have you have you ever had rabbit stew? Yes, I have. I've eaten okay. rabbit. My whole point is these are with it. listen. They were abused animals. Don't you get All right? That? I mean, if you're going to have pets, you don't want to abuse your pets. You know, they are abused animals. This is nothing to make fun of. I wasn't making fun of it. I'm gonna have to what kick are you. you slapping on. She's beating her cigarettes. Yep, that's what she's doing. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Iron Woman. Oh, God. I'm going to have to. I'm telling you what. He thinks because I didn't get much sleep that he's safe today. He is not. 
I'm gonna kick Who's your ass. making fun of? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> oh. Okay, everybody. These rabbits were kept in horrific conditions and starved. Then she decided when she couldn't care for them, she'd snap their necks. That's exactly what happened. And this was a, a YouTuber, a, a, a troll? YouTuber. In the DC community. Her name is Jamie Kimbrough. I'm glad I, don't I know hope she I gets know. jail time. She did get she did get arrested, yes, and put on a twenty thousand dollar bond. Mm-hmm. Which usually you only have to cover ten percent. Yep. $2,000 when she's out. Okay, Stitch. Bye. Okay, everybody. i got to get off here. I've got company. They're out in my carport. I can hear them. I can hear them out there singing and playing and stuff. I can. <laughs> yeah, so she won't get jail. Uh, all right, everybody. I love you. Thanks, Ghost. And we'll talk later, okay? All right. We will talk later. Got it? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> all right, everybody. Much love to you all. Okay, honey. I'll I'll get it here in a little bit. I love you guys. I'm gonna Have go a hunt good some day. rabbits too. What do you got to say for yourself, ghost? <laughs> I'm gonna go have some rabbit stew. Catch y'all later. Bye. Bye.